Today, me and the crew are gonna show you the best way to clean a white car right here in the detail garage. Let's do it. Welcome back to the Detail Garage. This is our canvas today, a 2014 BMW 328D Touring. It's a brand new car right off the lot. The owner brought it to us because they want to protect the investment that they've made. So we're going to do a quick detail today on a white car. There's a lot of white cars on the road. In fact, they're statistically the most popular car on the road. Why is that? A lot of people think by buying a white car that they don't have to maintain it the same way that they would a black car or a gray car that shows the same amount of contamination easier on a dark colored vehicle. The truth of the matter is, however, that a white vehicle has the same contamination as any other colored vehicle. You just don't see it as much. So that's why it's much more important to maintain and protect a white vehicle. So today we're going to go through a four to five step process of detailing a white vehicle. We're going to introduce some great products and show you what you need to do. So first step off, as you can see, white cars already hide the contamination. So from where you're sitting on the other side of the camera, you're probably not aware as to how much contamination is actually on this vehicle. You already, even though it only has a few thousand miles on it, has dirt, has dust, and has road grime. And you want to safely lift that dirt off of your painted surfaces so you don't scratch this nice flush clear coat. So today with me, I have EcoSmart RU. A lot of people out there don't want a long shopping list as for products that they need to buy to protect their car. So I want to introduce you to just one. This is EcoSmart RU, a complete waterless detailing system in one bottle. You don't need a hose, you don't need a bucket, you, don't, you can live in an apartment, on a military base, anywhere. And you can use this product to clean your car from top to bottom with one plush microfiber towel. So the microfiber towel that I've chosen today is our 16 by 16 yellow microfiber towel. It has silk banded edges that won't scratch your car. At the same time, it has one side with shorter microfiber noodles and one side with elongated microfiber noodles. The elongated microfiber noodles are gonna enable you to safely pick up that dirt and contamination off of the surface. And then you can use the shorter side to just buff out that residual haze. So again, all you need to do, is spray a nice level amount onto the surface of your vehicle. If it's dripping, it's too much. Just gonna spray that on, give it a few seconds to agitate. And then using your clean plush microfiber towel, you just simply wanna wipe in one direction. And as you're wiping, a little roll of the hand isn't a bad idea. It keeps that dirt from building up in just one location. Now after you wipe that EcoSmart off, you give it a second to haze up. Another thing you might want to make sure your car is cool to the touch, it helps in the detailing process. So after that's hazed up, you just want to go ahead and buff off any residual wax. There is carnauba wax in the EcoSmart that's going to shine and protect your vehicle. Now cleaning your vehicle with EcoSmart also prepares you for the next step, which is claying your vehicle. So let's pass it over to Sullivan and he's going to show you how to clay your vehicle. Hi guys, Sullivan here with Detail Garage. So we just explained how to properly eco-wash the vehicle. Now let me step up to the next step. It's gonna be with claying. As you can see, there are some contaminants that the eco-wash wasn't able to take off. And this vehicle has been driven for a thousand miles. It's from San Francisco to here in LA. So let me move on to our claying part. Uh, we're gonna be using our OG clay bar. All we need is a third of the piece. It comes with a whole hundred uh, grams of clay but all we need is a third of it, and I already had it pre-cut. And we're gonna use it along with our clay luber. So what you want to do is just knead your clay to a small disc. And what claying does is it just easily removes the contaminants off your vehicle, and the clay luber just allows that lubricity. Because without lubricity, your clay is gonna cause marring onto your vehicle, and we don't need that. So once you apply your luber, apply a little bit more. Just gonna grab your clay bar, just work it in, up and down motion, and you can even go up and uh, left and right. And what this does, it preps your vehicle for any waxes or sealants that you want to apply. And as your clay starts to get dirty from contaminants, you just want to knead it in and work into a small disc again. So now that you have dried off all the residual off the vehicle, uh, we're gonna move on with Jen. She's gonna be applying our SS6 protective coating, okay? See you guys there. Hey guys, so now that the car is clean and free from any contaminants, we wanna protect it. So now, this car is brand new, and although it's brand new, it's not gonna keep that same protection unless you add something to it. So instead of going with the traditional jet seal, we're gonna use SS6. 
It's our advanced hybrid protective coating. What you want to do is you want to make sure that it's always cool and it's clean. So you don't want to apply it to any hot surfaces. It's very easy to use. What it's going to do is it's going to add a protective layer to the vehicle. You're going to, it's going to protect it from any future contamination and also from the UV rays. So all you have to do is you have to spray it and wipe. It's very simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to add three sprays to our UFO applicator pad. And then we're going to do it in one motion. You always want to do single stripes up and down. And as you'll notice, you're going to do it panel by panel. So right now I'm just going to do the hood. Also, you'll notice that over time, you'll probably have to reapply, and that's okay. But again, just in single motions. So within the 10 to 15 minutes, usually when you finish a panel, you'll come back and you'll want to buff it off. So I'm using just a clean microfiber towel to just wipe off. And just like that, SS6 is applied. So make sure that you do panel by panel, and each panel is clean and free of any contaminants. And that's SS6. So now we're going to move on to Greg, and he's going to go ahead and show you something else to add some more shine that we haven't already done already. show you the brightest shade of white with our brand new chemicalized white. Now what is chemicalized white? Chemicalized white is a brand new wax designed to bring out the brightest shade of any white colored vehicle.